A longtime Civil War shop is stirring up major controversy. One city councilman even quit over the reopening of this business. Wildman's Civil War surplus in Kennesaw. News Edge reporter Denise Dillon shows us community members packed a city council meeting tonight to talk about it. One councilman quit. One businesswoman said she's moving out of the city limits. But some people said the owner of this business has a right to be here. I've got to resign. I can't do this anymore. Kennesaw City Councilman Doc Eaton stepping down, saying he's disappointed that the city would approve a business license for Wildman's Civil War and surplus. The store is filled with Confederate memorabilia and controversy. Among the relics, KKK materials and caricatures of black people. The store has been on Main Street in Kennesaw since 1971. Many thought when the owner, Dent Myers, died in January, the store would be closed for good. But last week, a close friend of Myers reopened the shop. The city said the new owner went through all the procedures and had no reason not to approve a business license. The city said they did everything legally, yet we failed to address the moral issue. A number of people stood up at tonight's council meeting agreeing Wildman's has had a negative impact on the city. No one single thing deters downtown development more and stifles property values more than Wildman's. It's a museum of human hatred. Others say the owner has a right to be here. What he has displayed is different, but it doesn't mean that it's wrong. Whether you want Wildman's to stay or go, it's irrelevant because Wildman has a right to be there. Eaton's daughter, who is a former councilwoman and a business owner, says since Wildman is staying, she's leaving. She put her building on Main Street up for sale. I wish you guys the very best in your future endeavors with this city, because I'm done. Doc Eaton announced his plans to resign last week, the day the shop reopened, but waited until tonight to officially resign so he could make a statement and his reasons would be on record. In Kennesaw, Denise Stillen, Fox 5 News.